Chum Rip Suk, Nyam Sotiro. Welcome to the Cambodian Student Association in Canberra. My name is Sotiro. First of all, I would like to thank for this opportunity to be part of this video series. Today I'm going to talk about the academic experience when you study abroad. First of all, I would like to talk about the settle down. Studying abroad is going to be a new experience for you. It's going to be a new adventure for you. So some information may be helpful in terms of preparations before departures, as well as during the implementations of your plans during your study. Finding a suitable accommodation is very important for your student life because when you can stay on campus or off campus, it is, will have an indirect influence to your academic experience. If you stay off campus and you stay too far from the university, you may spend a lot of time for traveling and without talking about the bus system. If the bus system is more frequent to in your suburb, then that would be easy for you to travel. However, for some suburb that is remote or have a less frequencies of traveling, then you might encounter experience in terms of bus transfers and as well as a long commute time. This will affect your time management for your study. Some people might find staying on campus is a good solution. There will be a talk more about this settling down and living experience in another video series. Secondly, let me talk about getting to know your university. Congratulations, you are now at your university. Knowing your school, which is part of your university, is very important. You can use your map that provided by your university during the welcome package that will be provided by your university. This is important because it will help you in the initial stage in terms of traveling management as well as time management. Enroll in the introductory course. The introductory course generally have a length between one week to two weeks, depend on the university or your program design. This is a very important startup for you to get involved and get to know what is your course is exactly about, what is the course might be involved. They might provide you the insightful experience about the course, the expectation. This course also equipped with necessary skill to help you to start up with the upcoming real course provided by your program. Let's explore the resources. This is important during your startup because you will need to find where is your library, resource centers, or those centers that might be involved with your courses. And also, this is a good time for you to find out what your university has to offer in terms of materials and learning systems, as well as facility that might help you for your study. Be sure to subscribe to IT system such as email system, printing system, copy quota, as well as other utility that might help you for managing the hard copy as well as soft copy of your academic materials. It is a good practice that you should subscribe with e-newsletter, update information or your university subscription because it is an important source to keep you informed about what is happening on campus. Stress management. This is a crucial issue and a very important part because it is a central concentration of your body and mind. Stressful mind will lead to the deteriorating of your health. So how to overcome those stress issues? First of all, there is an, one thing that you can do is eat well and have a good sleeping pattern. Good food such as fruits and vegetables can help you to secure your health against the new environment such as the change in weather that may make you cold and don't forget do some sports because that might release your stress. Participate with the community either your traditional or national 
communities. In here we have Khmer community as well as the community of the students such as student association. Because those communities will help you to solve some unanswered questions that you have in mind. Keep yourself busy because when you are busy, you will have less time to worry about that stress. You might spend your time during weekend for traveling to the place that you've never been before. This is a new experience. Let's explore it. You may go to the cultural centers, recreational centers, shopping, sightseeing, or maybe visit your friend in another state or university. Sign in with mentoring program. Many universities will have this program because this program will help senior students support you by providing advice. So it's a kind of like a sharing experience mechanism. If you have academic issue, you can talk to your course supervisors or academic advisors. They will help you with those issues. Time management. You should be able to get your timetable from your university either by hard copy or online. This is an important startup for you for the time management because they will tell you about the lecture times and tutorials. From your timetable, you might now be able to select the tutorial time that might not conflict with your lecture time of other courses. If you stay away from the university, by this I mean you stay off campus. You should find a bus schedule, train schedule, or any schedule that related to your traveling because this will help you in planning your time management and traveling times. It is very portable to use your planner notebook because it will keep you informed about the upcoming events such as seminar, lectures, tutorials, or appointments. For those who have experience with the high-tech technology, you can use software from your computers or accessory that you possess to keep informed about those upcoming events. Right, keep learning and striving. This is gonna be a steep learning curve for you. Check the short course training provided by your university because these courses will be very helpful for you to boost your academic experience as well as capacity. The courses might include essay writing, analytical skill, critical thinking, knowledge of the information system, and many others that you will not find helpful for your academic life. Generally, these courses are not long. It lengths from two hours to few days. Procrastination will cost you a lot. It will affect your academic and living experience. Procrastination is the key issue that causes stress. Because when you linger, those tasks will get piled out. And when the deadline is near, you will get nervous, make you less productive. But what is procrastination? Well, I will tell you later. Plagiarism. Academic integrity or academic honesty is very crucial because if you plagiarize, it means like you are a thief. A thief who stole idea from other people. And many of the university will have a zero tolerance to the plagiarism. If you plagiarize, you will get expelled or you will be get a blacklist for your professional career. Be sure to reference carefully and check your academic work with software that can help you verify the source. There is a good software out there such as the Turnitin that can help you verify for plagiarism. Well, that's all for now. Enjoy your academic life. Make the most of it because it will be the life-changing experience for you. Thank you very much for your time and thank you for visiting the website. So welcome.